So hi, hello and welcome, Micro Punter here. And as you can see, I've received a little box uh, from Amazon today. And in it, there is uh, a microscope, of course. Uh, this one is from Swift Opticals. And what I'll do is I'll unbox it and I'll have a closer look at it right now. So first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Swift Opticals for providing me this uh, microscope uh, so that I can do this review. I ordered it over Amazon. Well, this is basically uh, the box, uh, as you can see, not very colorful, actually rather dull looking and that is actually a good sign because this actually shows that the manufacturers of this microscope actually do not consider this to be a toy microscope but actually a more serious one. Um, so this is always the first thing that I look for in microscopes, how colorful is the box and the less colorful the better it is. And of course uh, now I'm un. Oh, uh, unboxing the actual microscope and the first thing that I saw is uh, a manual, an instruction manual, some tissue paper and uh, also a spare LED lamp. Uh, there's only one lamp required to operate uh, the microscope and these LED lamps uh, can be easily exchanged this way. There is also a hexagonal wrench in there to open the battery box because uh, the microscope is um, also battery operated and also a short instruction manual. The microscope is packaged in a styrofoam box uh, which I'm now uh, taking out and uh, of course it was sealed uh, with tape so I also had to uh, open that one and uh, the first impression was indeed a very good one. Um, the microscope uh, was uh, wrapped in plastic uh, to protect it from dust. I personally think uh, that uh, plastic should be a little bit reduced and as a pa packaging material but uh, Generally, it made a very good impression. Um, the microscope uh, was uh, also supplied with two eyepieces. Uh, it came with uh, five uh, permanent slides and also batteries were included and also a power adapter. And this is a box so with slides. I'll have a look, uh, a closer look at this uh, later on. So um, I'm now taking the microscope out. Um, the microscope itself is relatively lightweight. It's uh, 1.1 kilograms. Um, so it is highly portable. And uh, as you can see, it is a monocular microscope. Uh, that means that there is only one eyepiece. Um, so it is actually uh, quite suitable also for children who might have problems actually using uh, both eyes uh, to view the microscope. Everything's been wrapped uh, well in uh, plastic and uh, also the coarse and the fine focus knob uh, are operated uh, can, uh, very smooth as you just saw. I'll talk about this also more later on. And uh, there is also a protective uh, paper on the stage. And uh, also the lamp itself uh, was uh, protectively covered uh, by a plastic foil. Okay, so this is now the microscope. Uh, the very first impression is indeed very good. It is made mostly of a metal, um, quite solid. Um, the bottom uh, basically it can be opened so that uh, you can add a battery. I'll talk about this as well. It has three objectives. Um, and a coarse and a fine focus knob. So basically um, it means that the microscope has all of the essential features that you would expect uh, from a low-cost microscope. This is now a 10 times magnifying eyepiece. The eyepiece is pretty good. It is also made of uh, metal um, and the 16 millimeter that is the field of view. There is a protective uh, tube cap and uh, it simply drops into the tube uh, like this and the microscope is uh, ready for operation and also the tube can be turned. It works very smoothly this way. And this is again the coarse and defined focus knob that I'm now trying to test. And also that works quite smoothly. There is a little disc beneath the stage which allows you to control the aperture of the diaphragm. And, and uh, this kind of replaces a little bit the condenser because the microscope does not have a fully featured condenser. It does have a small lens in there, but a fully featured condenser for a microscope of this size would be a little bit, I would say, um, yeah, an overkill almost. Okay, it's a close up view here on the back. You can see there is a main switch, and next to it, there is the adapter plug uh, for the power supply. And uh, 
the microscope itself, uh, as I mentioned before, um, it can be operated uh, with a battery. So I'm using the supplied hexagonal wrench uh, to open the battery compartment. As you can see, there is the place uh, for three batteries, and uh, which I'm dropping in right now. And uh, basically then uh, the microscope is already ready uh, for um, operation. And uh, when you switch it on, you can see that the light uh, turns on like this. And of course, there is also um, a light intensity control which, I'll, can, which can be used to, to adjust the brightness, okay? And the course and the fine focus knob again. And that is the light intensity control. And uh, this little screw there, that is uh, important for making sure that uh, the stage cannot be raised too high. Yeah. So the microscope itself uh, is also supplied with uh, clips uh, instead of a mechanical stage, it has clips. Um, however, the objective standard, uh, not the objective standard, the eyepiece standard um, is like this, that uh, it is able to also accept uh, eyepieces, uh, other eyepieces as well. And the supplied slides uh, are standard slides. I had some problems uh, reading the Chinese, I have to admit, but I could identify all of the slides. Um, I then used uh, a Google Translate, the Google Translate app uh, to take a picture of the slides and then it gave me an English translation of the slide labels. And these are now all of the things uh, that the microscope uh, comes with, uh, dust cover included, um, and uh, two eyepieces as I mentioned, um, and uh, also five blank slides. Yeah, these are the two eyepieces, it's a 25 times and a 10 times magnifying. Cover glasses are also supplied and five blank slides and also five permanent slides. Uh, the hexagonal wrench which I showed you and a spear LED lamp and also the power adapter. And uh, another thing that I wanted to say is that the lens cleaning tissue which is supplied is probably not really needed very often because generally um, you're not going to use oil immersion on here anyway. And on the bottom of the stage that is uh, a rotating disc uh, which can be used to adjust uh, the, um, the aperture. And this is the revolving nose piece and it's four times, 10 times, and 40 times um, magnifying objectives. The objectives have the magnification written on it, and the 40 times uh, objective is spring-loaded uh, for uh, protecting the specimen slide so you can push in the front part. Yeah, some other close-up views of the microscope here. And uh, this is again the lamp, uh, and the lamp is quite easily accessible because you can screw open the top. Yeah, and the back of the microscope as well. And uh, how heavy is it? It is uh, about uh, 1,264 grams, so just over one kilogram. And uh, of here, this is now the power supply that you can also use. And the light intensity can be regulated by turning the knob. Okay, so this is basically one single LED LED that you're controlling this way. And uh, this is now. These are now onion cells that I'm now uh, that have now been supplied. So that's one of the five permanent slides, and I'm using here you now the 4x. This is the 10x objective, and you can see that the picture is quite good. Okay, I'm now moving around the slide. I'm filming the whole thing with my mobile phone camera directly through the eyepiece, so you can see the individual cells. And uh, this is now using the high magnification 40 times uh, objective, and in this case, I'm using the 10 times magnifying eyepiece. I'm focusing now a little bit as well. Yeah, this is the fly's leg that you can see now also um, using the four times uh, objective, the low power objective. The fly leg is pretty large and also for this reason you, it covers already quite a lot. This is the claw, this is now the ten times objective, the claw becomes bigger. Of course you can see the hair quite well. And uh, of course uh, later on I also switched uh, over to the high magnification 40 times. So you can see here, this is now in 40 times. I'm focusing back and forth. So there's a little bit of stray light here. That's why it looks a little bit uh, you know, faded out the colors. And here these are, that's a cross section of testes tissue, also uh, with a four times magnification, 10 times magnification. And uh, I'm actually using the same specimen slide in school when I'm, I'm covering the topic. And these are now the this is now the slide using the 40 times high magnification. Yeah, 
and it's a little bit jerky because I'm moving the slide around with my fingers. Yes, uh, another thing not supplied but I had it at home is a, a digital USB camera and uh, I'm now just going to show you what's also possible. I now, have now connected the microscope to my laptop computer using this USB camera so I can actually do on-screen microscopy this way. Uh, those USB cameras they are not so expensive um, and they can give you a live view and uh, that is also quite convenient uh, and you can also uh, take pictures this way of course okay this is actually this actually shows that uh, the um, the microscope camera is compatible uh, with uh, this uh, microscope as well so you can see that I'm not switching over to a higher magnification it's again the fly leg okay the one that I just showed you and uh, it's uh, yeah you can see that uh, the focus is, is quite uh, quite uh, quite smooth as well okay so that is now the 10 times magnifying uh, objective and uh, now I'm going to the, the onion cell again that I have um, and you can also now see that uh, the camera is uh, adjusted in such a way that is directly connected without any additional power supply to the computer so that means uh, that uh, you can do uh, microscopy on the laptop computer uh, without any need of an additional power supply and this means that the whole system is also highly portable okay so um, who is this microscope for and who is it not for my general recommendation if you are already interested in amateur microscopy and if you um, already know that amateur microscopy is something for you and if you uh, intend, intend to spend many hours behind the microscope then I probably would buy myself um, yeah I would invest a little bit more money to get a microscope which is a little bit larger um, the small size is an advantage under certain certain circumstances but can also be seen as a disadvantage because um, you always have to bend down a little bit um, so uh, what I have to do here is, is to maybe put a thick book um, under the microscope so that it's actually um, you can sit more upright on the table so the small size is can be seen an advantage or disadvantage homeschooling I can imagine it would also be another possibility here um, I can also imagine this to be a very uh, useful field microscope uh, especially because of the portability and the fact that you can uh, use batteries um, so theoretically what you could do is you could take a camera and a laptop along and the field microscope and then uh, without uh, actually being connected to a power source you can actually do microscopy uh, so there are I think uh, many uses uh, for this um, but uh, what I would say is uh, that maybe the biggest advantage of this microscope is is that if you are um, vaguely interested in amateur microscopy and you really are low on budget or um, you're kind of a little bit um, yeah, uh, worried about spending too much money at the beginning because you're not really sure whether you should pick up the hobby or not um, and you just want to take the first few steps in amateur microscopy then with this microscope you actually um, you have not lost anything uh, really it's it's like this that uh, it allows you to do the take the first steps without any risk and then if you buy this uh, and then you discover after I don't know a month or two months that the uh, microscope is nothing for you um, then you still basically um, have not really lost anything I have to admit okay so it's a very low risk uh, start into um, in, into the field of, of microscopy okay uh, so this uh, was basically it uh, long review um, I know um, I want to simply also mention right now to be, uh, that there is I put a link into the comments section below an affiliate link uh, which is going to take you directly to the Amazon page um, and uh, where you can have a more detailed uh, look at the Amazon uh, product uh, page about all the features uh, there okay um, I wish you um, all the best uh, happy microbe hunting as always leave your comments uh, please uh, please also uh, if you have not done so already please also subscribe to the channel and support the channel this way um, I wish you all the best uh, bye bye and uh, see you next time